should receive some buffs on this patch to his jungle clear. I believe he does a little bit more damage to monsters now. I'm just trying to check what skill specifically it was. Uh, that is usually what you expect. Jungler's now in bot lane. Ooh, CC lands. Oh, a jump forward. Kaiser gets the boob down. Kaiser trying to use that martial poise to best effect. is coming in from the river. That's a defensive flash as well as the Spider-Man pull. Treats gets first blood. Well done, Dr. Mundo. Teleport will channel and complete. Here comes Armour looking for the Sonic Wave. Counter teleport coming as well. Now Kaiser's going to get taken down. It's a double kill to Mundo. Now it's turned around as Armour manages to get one. for Libet. Ooh. The lip hasn't been spotted yet. Very, very cheeky. Scout of the week doesn't find the stun, but the Zenith Blade just might flash as available. Ooh. Predicts it! Lilip, you beauty treats, gets the kill. It will be a dragon secured for the Mad Lions, but very nicely done. Yeah, very nicely done from Lilip. He did predict the flash, and they're able to get a big kill onto Humanoid. And now they're looking to answer back. Hooklands! Edge line will be a dead blue. Easy and can also itemize magic resistance. Dun, so dun, 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 dun. It's, uh, it's going to be difficult as the re-engage now dun, comes dun, out. Dun, 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 dun. Kaiser's in trouble. No, Lilip is in trouble. Forced to flash away to safety. Kaiser down to half HP. Jesus making his way forward. Blue flashes out. Scout of the week. It's not going to be used just yet. That's a double stun. Flash the minion as well. Nobody dead just yet. Solar Flare not going to be enough. Kaiser escapes with the his life. going to fall. Very, I'm... I'm kind of liking SK's proactiveness here. Let's not forget the SK this split oh, win. TP from Humanoids. Oh, Genax, very good shock loss in the face to the skies. Hammer comes out, knocks back. Armored, pick the right clone, Genax. Not gonna be able to find it just yet. The shock blast, not gonna be enough. Humanoid gets the kill. I believed for the briefest of moments. Play out. So Mad Lines, two dragons. They're still down a thousand gold, but starting to stack towards that soul. Soul, rather, starting to stack towards that big team fight. They certainly are. Ult comes through. The stun gonna land as well. I think the clone blocked the slow, but the flash. Yeah, it really did. Tree's not going to be able to find the kill just yet. While well, that's going on in 2v2 in the top lane, Armut's going to join the fray. Solar Flare comes out, stunned, locked down onto Kazi. He can't find the Randall. is able to escape with his life. No. All of a sudden, now Genax is in trouble. Here comes Alyoya. We'll be able to take a big bite out of Genax. Humanoid jumping in as well. There's more potential for combat in the top lane as Humanoid picks up. And there's already a TP into the mid lane here from Blue, while Treats and Lilip are pushing vision into Mad Lions. It's then snowball, right? Um, and again, when you kind of look at front-to-back team fights, I think that SK's comp is just better at it. Okay. This mid out okay, of turret was cannon. still standing. I'm very upset right now. Yep. Disappointing play all around. And of course, we are getting now to that you can actually win some of these uh, mid-game team fights, set yourself up for success, where they have faulted. Because like you said, they have actually had a track record. I don't know that something is going on. Getting a little too late to this one. Humanoid stepping all the way forward, chucks out the chains, 3,000 HP. Dashes backwards to the clone. Baron is secured. Um, production not ready for this, but I'm going to need to ask, can SK win this game? I'm going to be asking chat, yes or no. We'll be able to run that in a moment or two. Lelip is going to be able to find the engage. Survives long enough for Blue to arrive. Teleport now brings armor to the fray. Dragon's Rage, Sonic Wave, Resonating Strike. Lelip escapes with his life, but for how long? Sound the alarms. It's the sound of the police as Elyoya is making his way to the bottom lane. Has the Stormbringer available to him, and SK have escaped. Fate's call is used, a multi-man stun prevents further follow-up, and that is exactly what Vedius has been talking about over and over again, the power of Syndra. Flash, hit him with the briefcase, treats. Mad Lion's now running away. This is the longest fight of nothing happening I've ever cast. Press R, and it is Treats that picks up the kill onto Humanoid. Ayoya gets tagged by the Bone Claw, flashes over the wall. Treats chucks it on the briefcase. Right. And it yeah. Shock Blast is coming up. Baron empowered minions. Humanoid's got teleport available, but he's pushing the top lane. Mad Lions are now being pushed further and further back. <laughs> Various the inhibitor turrets are now being pressured. Yep. And SK Gaming are in a very, very good position. Correct. I agree. <laughs> Would you like to contribute more to the no, story? I think you summed up the, the story very well. I like that. Uh, point right now. The biggest problem for Mad is that they're only going to continue to get outscaled. While the goal gap isn't that big right now, it actually is. At very three and nine, they also put the Mad Lions at seven and five. So not only does it make that sixth place a little bit more believable, but it hurts Mad Lions in terms of, you know, season endings and championship points. Now, Gen X is going to be flashing over the wall. Jezu finds Alyoya with the help of Lilip. Solar Flare locks him down. Teleport completes from blue. Armut's the next target. He's scattered by weak. There's not an ultimate just yet. Gen X running for his life. Blue as well as Jezu will be able to run him down. Armut's just hunting for Gen X. Shock Blast connects. Now Armut starts to peel away. 
The rest of the Mad Lion is just trying to challenge Vision. Armored gets a hammer to the head. Skellavik doesn't find its target. And for the first time, we see a kill there secure oh, jungle. Fine. Yep. Armor is sitting on a ward right now. Look at Lulip's flank position. Blue will lose his... Oh, hang on. There's Good damage. So much damage. Alioi needs to use the Stormbringer defensively. Fates call as well as Flash from Kazi. They'll re-engage. Is there enough damage? They'll keep your eyes on Treats. It remains relatively unscathed. Defensively backing away. SK pick up a kill onto Kaiser. Um, humanoids jumping in. But those Sigils are not going to find the damage. Baron has been stopped, though. So first of all, right, Kaiser's basically going to get stunned up. Kazi pulls him back in into a frequent flyer status with the amount of air time Mad Lions donated, but ultimately with the composition. So it's still, it's still, this game could go either way. I give you a chance to change your vote because you're not allowed to say it could go either way because you said there's no way. I SK think SK loses. still win this game. Right, I that's what SK I wanted to check. And it's up to SK to execute, right? If they make the mistakes, then it can go all right. Now Mad Lions did show the ability to fight. Shock Blast catches out Kazi. Dredge line oh. will land onto one. Solar Flare goes forward. So does Lilith. Scatter the weak. Holds Kazi in place. He's already dead. Jezu will get the respin. He hops out to safety. That's the second kill. Traded back just for Genax. The inhibitor will fall as Humanoid's running for his life. He's already flashed to safety. And Treats is just waddling into the base. He manages to take down Humanoid. And this could be the final push. 50 second death time. Is there on the Nexus Titan? SK, they're going to do it. SK are looking to upset the Apple Cart. They will take down the LEC champion champions and make their way to stand a chance at playoffs. Naysayers be damned! SK take down the Mad Lions! It was a weird and wonderful game, but it doesn't matter because it's a win for SK!